what's up nakamas welcome back to the channel and for today we're gonna be opening up this st17 blue dolphy deck so this is still part of the six new pre-cons that um, bandai released so now we're gonna be looking at what we're gonna be getting if we buy this blue pre-con so let's not waste any more time let's open up this bad boy so let's just get this seal here at the side and we're good to go kind of destroyed the, <laughs> the packaging a little bit but yeah, let's just put it here at the side and this is your deck it still comes with this plastic to put everything in place let's just slowly take it out not damage the cards with that out of the way we'll be looking at our tendons this looks awesome though that leader so this is our first look for our for our don quixote do flamingo new parallel leader and it looks awesome the foiling so it's still matted foiling it's um, similar to the early precons that we have so this is not embossed so the good thing about this deck is that Dofi is actually a very usable leader which has taken down some pretty decent tournaments here in Japan and to have access to this budget but cool parallel leader is a very welcome addition to blue players so let's just quickly look at the new cards so we have the first sr two only two copies of trafalgar law 5000 with a 1k counter it's a little difficult to see but this has a 1k counter and the ability is that on play you may return one of your characters to your hand and if your leader has uh, seven warlords of the sea type you get to return up to one cost or or lower character to its owner's hand next is another sr still two copies boa hancock a four cost 6k with no counters this time this is a blocker and on play we get to look at the top three cards of our deck then place them in any order on the top or bottom of the deck then we give up to one of our seven warlords of the sea type leader or character up to one rested dawn and the on play effect for this one is something that our uh, leader effect wants to use because we need to know what our top card of our library is in order to uh, maximize our leader's effect to play them next we have a common oh only two copies of buggy this is a pretty good card it's a one cost 2k and it's a 2k counter However, the on-play effect of this is really useful for our deck. So, on-play, you get to look at the top three cards of your library and return them in any order on the top of your deck. I think this is comparable to the one-cost Perona. However, Perona looks at the top five cards. Next, we have the four-cost Crocodile. Okay, we have four copies of this one. This is a common card, 4 cost, 5k, and has a 1k counter. On play, reveal one card from the top of our deck. And if it is a 7 Warlords of the Sea type, we draw two cards and place one card from our hand to the top of our deck. So this is a pretty strong effect. Allows you to draw cards and you can play this before activating your leader effect because you basically know what the top part of your deck is so i think this is a pretty good addition to this archetype and i can see players playing four copies of this we have four copies of marshall d each so blackbeard so this is a two cost 3k with a 1k counter activate main and once per turn you may place one card from your hand at the top of your deck and we get to attach up to two rested dons to one of our leader or characters i think that's pretty strong because once again your leader will be happy if you know what the top card of your deck is okay, from here on out our 
reprints first we have four copies of the blocker three cost dofi again this is a rare and it is reprinted as a non-foil which is um something that's still kind of weird but having four copies of this card in the deck is really good four copies of overheat this card is not very much used in um most copies of uh, Dofi, but as a pre-con i think this um goes pretty well in the deck because this is a seven warlords of the sea card and it will introduce the new players for the counter effect oh they included four copies of the four cost 6k moria here this is just a vanilla but in op7 i think uh, dofi uh, runs at least two of this card so i'm very happy that this was included in the deck four copies of bartolomeo kuma i've seen earlier lists running this but still i'm happy to see four copies of this card then we have four copies of edward weevil this is just a vanilla three cost for 5k then oh what a pleasant surprise here this has four copies of the four cost gecko moria that returns a card from your trash i'm happy to see four copies of this the reason is when op07 came out mono blue Dofi and mono blue boa hancock was very famous i remember this card shooting up to like three dollars each and this pre-con again is only 550 yen so that's roughly around four dollars so getting four copies of this card is really nice although this card has gone down in price four copies of the st3 a 2k counter mihawk then we have four copies of the one cost uh, blocker law then last but not the least four cost jinbei so this is the on ko jinbei not the forecast jinbei that is actually used in competitive lists for dofi then the remaining cards are just basically like basic rules so these are the contents of the deck as my final thoughts i think this is a pretty well built deck i think this has more cards included that are in the competitive list compared to that uh, yellow deck then again looking at this leader the effect the foiling effect of this leader parallel is really really nice to look at so if you want to improve this deck one thing that i can think of right off the bat is using the cards from op07 especially the four cost jinbei that will allow you to play a card for free from your hand and replace this um, Jinbei this promo version Jinbei then another thing that I can think of is the six cost Boa Hancock which is also an SR from the same set you have buggy which is which is only two copies in this list and these two SRs are actually pretty good you if you want to play this list competitively I think you're gonna need two copies of this precon usually i'd urge people to just buy singles but these are only uh, like 550 yen so again that's around only four dollars so if you can see these um off the sh shelves in your local game stores and you want to build a dofi deck i would suggest uh taking this deck because it already has a lot of like very usable cards for competitive list of Do doflamingo so that's it for this video. If you're still watching up to this point, then you're not just a nakama, but a super nakama. And thank you very much for your continued support. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe so that you will be notified for my future One Piece videos. So yeah, have a great day everyone and see you in the next video.